Yo! What's up, YouTube? So, uh, first, before I get into the review, which there's going to be spoilers, by the way, but before I get into the review, really quick, I just wanted to point out that um, going forth, uh, I'm shooting with uh, my other camera, my 4K camera. I'm going to be shooting my videos exclusively with this camera going forth now, maxing out 1080p and using the 4k for rare occasions and we are at 60 frames per second now and 60 frames per second is fucking awesome it, it, it melts my brain oh my god i honestly thought this movie was going to be dog shit because the movies so far this year have not been good black hat for example haven't reviewed it yet you want to know why because it's boring okay the the wedding ringer no, I haven't reviewed that yet. Seen it as well, but it's just meh. The Boy Next Door. Terrible. This movie is really good, actually. Now, I'm not going to lie. I do love science, and I'm a huge fan of science fiction. <clears throat> and I definitely love time travel stories, but this film... Is honestly really decent like this is not a bad movie I am so shocked I thought this movie was gonna be fucking terrible but no this movie is actually pretty dope are there in inconsistencies uh probably I mean this movie gets pretty it gets it gets pretty interwoven timelines it, it gets pretty fucking confusing to tell you the truth I mean this movie is not like primer or looper is nothing that fantastic but at the same time i i think you're gonna have a good time with this movie i mean the cat the the acting's pretty good across the boards there's nothing no one's performance particularly stands out though i have to say the lead actor tor towards the end of the film where he kind of has to be all paranoid and whatnot he did really well um, this chick is gorgeous. Okay. My God. My God, is she gorgeous. I've really loved, you see, I'm going to use Chronicle as an example. Now, I didn't really like, I didn't like Chronicle at all. My issue with Chronicle is that, like, with Project Almanac, when they go to La Palooza, uh, particularly, the music festival, when they went there, it just, from that moment on and a few scenes back, they really... Uh, they captured the fun of time travel, you know, which I haven't really yet seen a travel time travel movie. You know, they capture that high energy, that holy fuck, dude, we're we're traveling through time, and it is awesome. And this movie really captures that. Now, the dark, the dark elements, those are inevitable because if you're if you're messing with time travel, this is a innate paradoxical <laughs> decision, you know. You can't mess with time and expect everything to be perfect, okay? The things are going to go fucking wrong. But I love that in Project Almanac, Almanac they mess with time. You, you get to see a long, sustained run where it looks awesome. And then there's a long, sustained run where it's like, uh, yeah, fuck time travel. Uh, yeah, no. The Chronicle, there wasn't that sense of balance. I mean, Chronicle was mostly bleak. It was mostly dark, and the moments that like that I was real that I was more interested in, which was seeing everybody like having fun with their superpowers and having us laughing and and cracking up, you know, at their their escapades. You know, that's what I was that's what I was looking for in Chronicle. I didn't get. Unfortunately, Chronicle didn't have that sense of balance. It was just completely dark the, most of the time. But with Project Almanac, it wasn't that. So I was really happy with that. My only issues with Project Almanac is that the ending wasn't and the ending wasn't really that satisfying to me. Oh, and also, this chick right here literally is one of the most useless characters I think I've <laughs> I've ever seen Re uh, recently, for sure at least. I mean, literally I think she, the only substantial thing she did was hold the camera. A, a lot of the time travel elements outside the La Palooza sequence felt very trivial, like 
let me get back at my bully or let me you know we're kind of trivial i mean still fun but it would have been nice to have been like like holy shit this motherfucker just accidentally went to back to see the the building of uh the pyramids of giza for five seconds you know so things like that would have been more interesting interesting to see like the one of the characters uh this chick at one point in the film she was like oh we can only go back three weeks i just, I, I thought we could go back, you know, I wish we could have gone back to see the dinosaurs. When she said that, I was like, <laughs> me too. Other than that, I'm pretty sure there's some time inconsistencies uh, with the time travel aspects, but I, I don't want to get into that. That could be a long conversation. <laughs> it's, it's definitely flawed in, the, in those aspects, but for the most part, this is a really fun, damn entertaining film that I didn't mind watching. I'm feeling a 7 out of 10 on this one. But, you know, what would you think of this one? Let me know down below. I'm feeling a 7 out of 10. And, uh, yeah. By the way, if you could time travel, what would you do? What would you do? If I could time travel, uh, I, I probably just would have just had a lot of sex with certain people. And I probably will climb some trees in India. Uh, yeah, I think we're done. Peace.